Today we bring you this video of a gorgeous Tusker who has injured and fallen down. His left hand has got injured some time ago, but now it looks healed. The problem here is that even though his wounds are healed, he is still unable to walk. The wildlife team arrived and started to clear the area to make some space to reach the Tusker and to give him some breathing space. They start the treatment process immediately by cleaning the ear of this tusker. The IV catheter is connected to the ear and is plastered carefully. Saline administration begins. Meanwhile, the tusker is looking for food. The villagers have brought him food and water. He is trying to reach them and eat. He is a very friendly tusker, who is popular among the villagers as a beautiful, harmless animal. The villagers are quite fond of him. No one would have wanted to harm him, but unfortunately, he has got injured by a trap gun, probably when he came into the village with his herd looking for food, as it's the dry season. He is trying to sniff what is going on around him, but that is sort of obstructing the officers and the observation of the smooth flow of saline. Therefore, to divert his focus, one officer gives him a tree branch to meddle with. It works. While the saline is being administered on one side, the veterinarians also inject him with essential medicines like antibiotics, multivitamins, and anti-inflammatory drugs and painkillers. Looking at the Tusker's body, it is apparent that he has been lacking food for some time and has been starving. He looks scraggy and even his skin has changed its color. Hence, these medicines are essential as saline will rehydrate his body while the other medicines will restore the nutrient gaps and energize him, prevent infection, and reduce pain. It is clear that this is a trap gun wound and not a single shot wound. The bullet particles seem to have cut into the flesh. It is infected, but somehow it's in the healing process. Due to this injury, this beautiful creature has become more helpless in finding food and water as his weakening body has not allowed him to linger around and eat what he likes. This has affected him more than the gun injury. The kind villagers who are friends with this tusker have brought him cut pieces of jackfruit and banana stem to eat. See how he slowly munches on them while the wildlife team does the treatment? These medicines are carefully prepared and the doses are determined according to the body size of the animal. The vets inject them very delicately too. It is sad to see such a majestic and gorgeous creature fallen down in a feeble state, paying for an offense that was never committed by him. A careful observation of the elephant's eye shows that there is a lack of blood in the body too. This tragic situation was caused by someone's trap gun, which would have definitely been aimed at some other smaller wild animal who is damaging the crop fields. In situations as such, people make these cost-effective simple weapons using ropes, iron wires, metal pellets, pipes, and explosives. Not only animals, but humans too can get seriously injured or even killed by these. Besides, these are illegal weapons too.
There is only a very small percentage of male elephants in Asia with these beautiful incisor teeth called tusks. The genes are responsible for the inheritance of tusks in these animals. Tuskless females pass on their genes to the next generation, and this is why the number of tuskers walking on Earth is drastically decreasing in number. We should make every possible effort to save these amazing masterpieces for future generations. The villagers gathered around are continuously trying to comfort their beautiful friend in every kind gesture they know. One person is fanning him with a small leafy branch to chase away the bothersome flying insects. That is the beauty of the human-elephant connection. No matter how much harm they bring to humans, their love for these beautiful animals does not fade easily. In this case, it is also a way to apologize to this intelligent animal. The 10-bottle saline administration has come to an end and the IV line is being removed. He seems to be fed up with needles being pricked in him from time to time, so he is trying to send the officers away from him. When the final antibiotic is injected on his rear side, he gets worried a little and struggles to get up. The officers tactfully calm him down. Their next task is to help the elephant to rise up. The wildlife officers and villagers make a big effort to get the elephant on its feet, but they fail at it. This grown-up tusker must be around 4,000 kilograms of weight. So, if there is not enough support coming from the animal, these people will obviously not be able to get the animal up. After that, they decide to put a rope, give a little support, and try to get the elephant up. That method works. The elephant gets up with a bent rear leg. With a lot of effort, the wildlife officers manage to get him to stand up. He is still being held by the ropes. After a few minutes, when the elephant seems stable, they take off the ropes to let him stand freely. He starts moving slowly. The officers give him food to eat. 
and the tusker starts eating them slowly. This means he is now confident in keeping himself standing. He doesn't seem to be panicky anymore. He keeps eating and is not attempting to attack. He is still the same friendly animal he was. People too are very keen on helping this animal. They are cutting up more banana stems and jackfruit to feed the animal. This is a close-up of the trap gun injury which has healed halfway. These wounds are on the inner side of the front leg. He needs a lot more energy and a lot of nutrition. He has become quite skinny during this period which he has been injured. His jaws are drooping down too. All this is because of the trap gun injury. As mentioned before, it is not just one injury on his front leg. The bullet particles have hit him in many places. These can't be removed surgically in a field like this, if at all. He needs to be taken to a theater to perform such a procedure. Unfortunately, such resources are not available and therefore, proper care cannot be provided post-surgery. Therefore, this is the best option to enable this beautiful wild animal to live independently. After eating the food given by the people, the elephant goes towards the forest. This is the treatment done on the first day. After about five days, the officers hope to do a similar treatment. We hope to bring a video of that too in the future. Okay. 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 Okay.